Names are important, aren't they? And when you're growing up, if people make fun of your name, it hurts, doesn't it? Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and that's not really how my name is pronounced in the land of my ancestors. There, in Poland, it's pronounced Kubicki. And when I was growing up, that's how our pastor, the elderly Father Kalczynski, pronounced it when he handed out report cards. My classmates laughed at that, and I felt like they were laughing at me. Yes, our names are, in a sense, ourselves, and that's definitely true for Jesus. Today, we celebrate a feast in honor of his most holy name. It's the name that an angel told St. Joseph and Mary that they were to name Mary's child. It's a name that means the Lord saves, and that, according to St. Paul, is the name above all names. I cringe whenever I hear the name of Jesus used in profane and disrespectful ways, when people say his name in surprise or anger. When I was growing up, there was a special organization in our parish called the Holy Name Society. It still exists, and according to their website, is committed to helping its members grow in holiness through devotion to the most holy name of Jesus. Part of that devotion is to be thoughtful and holy in word and action, and part of the pledge that members take goes like this. I think it's something we can all commit ourselves to, especially today when so much of the language we hear is rough and crass. In honor of his divine name, I pledge myself against perjury, blasphemy, profanity, and obscene speech. I dedicate myself to the honor of the sacred name of Jesus Christ and beg that he will keep me faithful to these pledges until death. Amen.